Melissa Joan Hart described one of the hardest things the actress had ever seen, her experience helping students fleeing a school shooter in Nashville. For latest episode of the What Women Binge podcast, Hart co-host Amanda Lee shared details on their experience Monday when police and emergency responders seized area surrounding the Covenant School, a private Presbyterian parochial school, a hitman killed three people, children and three adults. Hart and Lee noted that children, who were nearby or already there for conferences, were on their way to school, respectively, when they began seeing or seeing on news the response from local authorities to active shooter situation. That's when Hart said he saw and that would stick in his mind. My husband and I were driving to our conference and I saw a helicopter. Then we tried to cross the street and a police car was directing traffic right there. We turned the car in front of us stopped and suddenly, I saw a teacher, that's the part I'll never forget, abandonment. These little kids are passing, said the actress and producer. The expression on her face changed my life. The Melissa and Joey star continued and added that she confused about what she was seeing at the time, especially when the teacher carrying what looked like a kindergarten down a five-lane highway. As he tried to understand what was going on, he finally understood where the disciples had come from the forest. Something's going wrong and I'm thinking about helicopter with police, so I got out of car, she explained, noting that her husband, Mark Wilkerson, remained in vehicle to prevent anyone from interacting with an unknown man. Because he understands what's going on, faster than me. Hart asked him. She said she started helping kids across the road, including someone who asked. At this point, he shared that there was no police other than the police who managed the traffic. I was like, we're crossing road, and I was hoping she wouldn't hear, she doesn't know me, so maybe she doesn't know the fear in my voice, actress said. But I quickly realized this isn't a fire drill. They're running across the road. Something's going really bad. There's something worse behind them than crossing street and basically leaving the kids on side of a highway. Hart said she felt that the teacher's reaction after refusing to contact or talk to her was a bit rude. But their attention and his own emotional reactions are now very clear to him after the event. I probably didn't put together what they were a holding together and b running for their lives and trying to save every single one of these 20 something babies who were running across the street. Hart said traffic had stopped and only a few people got out of their cars to help. Otherwise, the area was frozen. That's when emergency response accelerated. Suddenly, all these cops came in. When I sat there for half an hour, 200 police cars had arrived. It was, well, sirens, it was just crazy, he said. It was the saddest thing I've ever witnessed. The children would eventually be transported further away from the scene, but Hart stayed to help a woman who said her child was at school. After both praying with a third woman, Wilkerson learned from police that they could take the distraught parent to fire station, where he would be reunited with their children. She continued guide people running down the street help as where go, but the actress says she and Wilkerson shared her feelings of desperation. Saying he was at another school 10 minutes away, Lee dropped everything get to heart but struggled get close, so he waited in his school's parking lot. You could hear helicopters flying overhead, and there were unmarked police vehicles flying out of our parking lot to avoid intersections and sirens, Lee recalled. I mean, too many explosions happening at once. About 30 minutes after the first encounter with the schoolchildren, it became really clear what had happened, Hart said. When those ambulances passed, she was like, yeah, there were probably kids in those ambulances, the actress said in tears. It was the worst thing I've ever seen, and I'm not even first responders. I didn't even need to see they were supposed to see, what those teachers saw, those kids saw. So it was a really tough day and for some it's going to get worse in the grieving process. Lee noted that the community was devastated and that people experienced a range of emotions, including sadness, anger, and relief, due to what Hart described as a terrible event. This was a particularly odd occurrence for Hart, who said he was in a town near Newtown, Connecticut, when the took place at Sandy Hook Elementary School in 2012. Hart suggested that this was difficult to process because her son was in first grade. It was so close to home for me, and it changed my life, she said. 
The Sabrina Teenage Witch star also noted that sent pizza to Fire Station where she Wilkerson went on Monday as and Lee podcast listeners advocated showing their support to first responders, families organizations in aftermath of incident. Pull. Every town is a great organization if you want to join, or the Sandy Hook Promise works hard on mental health in schools, Hart said. There are many different ways you can get involved, depending on how comfortable you are.